All right, welcome back. This is Cellist Mike, and we are here. There we go. There's that. There's that. Uh, ding. It just lets us know we are live. Ooh, encoding overload. All right, let me go ahead and close one of these other programs really quick. Alright, sorry about that. Just went ahead and made it so only a couple chat programs were open and nothing else. Just things uh, for the stream. So again, this is Cellist Mike. And we are here playing for the Pixel Sharks in the uh, 2017 uh, charity event, which is called Extra Life. Sorry, I'm a little distracted by the the jitteriness of this game seems like it's still trying to load it almost like it didn't load everything right away <coughs> alright so Chalice Mike with Pixel Sharks Gaming Marathon team we are prepping for the 2017 run up to the charity event Extra Life where we're going to be supporting Children's Miracle Network Hospital kids all around the country Personally, I'm supporting the primary care or primary children's hospital in Salt Lake City. But if you go to Pixel Sharks webpage, you can support any of either the team members or the team as a whole or the the charity event as a whole, which would spread the, the funds out across the country. Just go to tiny.cc slash pixel sharks. All right, so where we left off is we had cleared <coughs> we had cleared the Corvega factory, the, the car factory of its raider inhabitants, but, well, we had cleared them of the, the, the primary raider inhabitants. There is, of course, plenty more there. So what we're going to go do, and this is going to hopefully be the end of our episode 3 stream set, we're going to go... Uh, loot everything we can get our fingers on because we couldn't actually collect everything that we needed so we're going to go ahead and see it says cleared but there is a lot of stuff there that we haven't been able to collect so we're, we're going to go ahead and try to loot everything <coughs> and there's probably going to be a, you know some more raiders that need to be killed but loot everything try to go loot all the corpses uh, collect everything we can. And then we also have the, the gun nut perk now, so once we get back, we'll go ahead and do some modif basic modifications to our all of our weapons. See if we can't kickstart. Hey! Hey, Glitch. He says hello to all of our viewers. Oh, somebody wants to die already. <coughs> Who's coming from over here? Anyway, whoever that was, they're gone now. Alright, so we're going to go ahead, since we've already kicked everything, more or less kicked everything. See, somebody is looking at us. Probably somebody up on that bridge, though. So we've got chunks of Raider Corpse. Ooh, we got a submachine gun. That is pretty. So the only reason why I brought the the armor this time. Oh, we need to get some healing here. <coughs> What's our radiation levels look like? Not seeing any radiation at all. <coughs> so let's go ahead and heal up a bit. Let's see. I was just seeing if there was something besides 
stim packs to use, but you know a stim pack is fine. It'll get us where we need to be. Alright, so we already collected the machine gun turret parts. I know somebody's got to be over there. That's alright. Ah, see, this is the guy that we took care of. Had the submachine gun. I yeah, know there's got to be... That's probably why these, these boards are there, is so that they can't see us. Alright, let's go in. Excuse me. Maybe for Christmas I will uh, get myself a couple SSDs to put all my games on. That might be nice. Yeah, I don't mind most things being on hard drives still. So I'm pretty sure there's probably still... There's a... Uh, oh, that's the door we came in. I'm pretty sure there's probably still raiders in here. But until we find them... We're just gonna go through and loot everything we can we can get. That includes. Uh, well, I'm not gonna go through and grab all the the super heavy Corvega parts because those are just going to give us steel. The, the machine parts. I mean, this is a. You know, if you think a bucket is heavy, let's look to see how much a bucket actually weighs. Yeah, see metal bucket, and it weighs three, so we might have to toss those. But in general... In general, uh, it's all about quality over quantity, so we'll dump things like buckets just as quickly as we'll dump everything else. <clears throat> and we may need to come back a couple times, that's fine. Ooh, ball peen hammer. I thought it was jet for a second. You know what? Why am I crouching? I actually want to find these raiders. Coffee cup. Light bulb. <clears throat> lots, lots of nice things here. Get nothing. Okay. Oh. Creepy monkey. So, <clears throat> they will alert people to our presence if uh, our presence hasn't been known already. They make noise. Sometimes they'll clap their little paws together. They have uh, symbols on their hands smack them together. Nice little elf on a shelf mentality going on. It's like, hey, the monkey will see you. And make noise. So even though they're not meant to be um, surveillance, not surveillance, they're not meant to be early warning systems. That's how the raiders tend to use them. <coughs> It'd be nice to collect them have it set off a siren in our communities, in our uh, settlements, rather. Have I been up here? What did you find, dog meat? I'll come over there in a second. It's got to load. Oh, it's probably the storm that's bogging my computer down a bit. Oh, dang! Smart dog. Thanks, buddy. I don't think I knew this was here. <laughs> Look at this. Crispy squirrel bits and a mining helmet. Looks like we've got somebody... 
there that wants to play. Let's see if we can accommodate them. Oh, crap. Where'd they go? Too far away, obviously. Hmm. Alright. So, some more gear. But we have somebody else that needs to play. Up there means that's where we're going. What's all this green light? No, just reflections from somewhere. I'm not sure where green lights are to, to offer some kind of a reflection. That's odd, I think. Oh, there's the green lights. Though they shouldn't be reflecting in that angle. <laughs> there's no direct line of sight into the, the piping. Where is our friend? I thought I just saw somebody move. Oh, it was just the raindrops. I bet you were having somebody over here. Ooh, hot dang. Easy peasy. I'm trying to use these 10 millimeter rounds because they're significantly cheaper than our 308. Although, in time, 308 will be our standard method of dispatching the Raiders. <coughs> so, all this hacking. Oh, I may have to uh, pause here in a minute. Or mute, just so I can cough it up. You know what, let's go ahead and take care of that right now. <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe not. Oh, I did not remember that I don't use Gamecast anymore. And so even though this is significantly better in terms of in terms of oh, who do we see? Significantly better in terms of oh, hello. I must have a good. Hey. Gotcha. Significantly better in terms of. Uh, broadcasting quality, not having to deal with delay between the audio and the video. Um, there's no easy button to mute. Well, I guess there is an easy button to mute, but I have the window closed. That was the program that I wanted to close in order to um, in order to keep the encoding overload down. And that's when everything started kind of flickering and not flickering, but uh, jolting around the screen. You know, freezing, lagging video. So there's got to be more corpses around here. I killed a lot of people as we came up matter of finding them. So there's one. <clears throat> the guy we just, yeah, we just cleaned him off. Alright, take everything he's got. Look for more. <clears throat> That's primarily what we're doing up here, is trying to uh, find all the corpses of the people we've killed. To clear all of the gear off of them. Find weapons. Find armor. 
use it to modify things. You, you sell it for money. All sorts of wonderful things. Alright, is there somebody in here? Nope, already dispatched whoever may have been in here. Ooh, these are some nice toys. <laughs> I am liking this room. Did somebody just shoot at us? No. Alright, let's see what's on the terminal. I'll bet you this is a control for those spotlights. Yep. Think any of them are still attached? No, oh, come on, I'm clicking on you. There we go. Uh, two connected. Let's see. One of them's online, one of them's offline. So let's go ahead and deactivate the one that's still online. <coughs> All right. Sounds good. More ammo. Nothing else in here, I guess. Let's go. Anybody's corpses need to be uh, pilfered? Alright, somebody just tried to message me. I should check that. And I will once I get up here. Set little priorities and goals. Oh, I thought that was a piece of corpse. <coughs> you would think that they would have a little supply station for the people that are wandering around. Oh, they do! Oh, check this out. Excellent. Fusion course permanently lasts 10% longer. I will take it. Definitely, sir. Wait a minute, did I just see a new toy? Inventory, give me my weapons. I thought I saw a hunting rifle. Oh, nope. Just pipe rifles. I mean, we do have this submachine gun. That's gonna be fun. Alright, one second, let me go ahead and check who messaged. Bosses, just looking for some uh, volunteers to help with a little bit of extra workload this morning. I'll probably tell him yes if nobody else responds in the next 20 or 30 minutes. But that's fine because I don't want to let this go much longer than say an hour or so. Did we already. I think we already cleared out down there. Maybe not. Either way. Corpse is here. Is that a shotgun? Why was he trying to use a shotgun from clear up here? He's not going to hit anything. I could have just left him right where he was. Alright. Down, down, down. But again, we did kill so many raiders up here that corpses could be anywhere. Look at this. Another one. Alright. Man. So much scaffolding. That's... Okay, that's somebody we already... Yeah. I know where we are. So I'd like to go over there. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Maybe I don't know where we are. That's where we just came down from. Alright, I was looking from on high. I was looking down at a segment that I thought we hadn't explored yet. 
but now I'm thinking that we did. That down over there, maybe? Because that's the direction we came in from, over there. We already explored that little tower area. Oh no, that over there is what I was seeing. Boink. But yes, we did already explore there. See, remember we jumped down from a top onto here. Alright, so there, I'm sure there's still some corpses that we haven't... we haven't looted. But I think it is time to go back in. Let's go ahead and find a door, an entrance, anything. I don't remember going in there. Let's go ahead and go check that out really quick. <clears throat> Again, the only reason why I jumped down is because... I'm in armor. The combat, or not combat armor, the, uh, yeah, we did not check this out. The uh, power armor takes the the, re the impact of the fall. It leaves us nice and safe. Yeah, okay, so that wasn't a, a whole lot, but it was some nice, some nice uh, light and valuable loot. And I don't think that we'll be able to... Oh, yes, looks like we might be able to go in there. There's a door. Alright. Go ahead and save. Shame on the other side. Oh, garbage. <laughs> oh, didn't let the chain off the hook. Well, it seemed to... It seemed to let the chain off the hook. That was a pretty vicious firefight in there. There's another door. Alright, let's try this one. Oh, come on. Loading times. Yeah, there shouldn't be anybody left for us to kill. I mean, there may still be. But I don't think so. I think we did get everybody. Alright. We have not gotten down to the, the bottom floor yet. There's another entrance out to there. Alright, so I want to clear out the top floor before we go explore the bottom. It seems like we've mostly gotten everything. This is one of the directions we came in. Just uh, clear everything from the top down. Oh yeah, we definitely came through here. But we went outside. Which doesn't quite help. Alright. Oh, that was the monkey we shot. Alright. Yeah, we climbed up to the, the ladder there. Good jobs, safe jobs. <laughs> <laughs> protect workers now. Oh, that's amusing. This is not a safe job for anybody. Poor decor. Sweet. What did we find? Short pipe revolver, okay. Alright. Anything else? What's this? Oh, that was a camera we shot off. Little shredded pieces of stuff. Yeah, look at this little baseball glove. The heck is that doing there? I don't know, but I'll take it. Good source of leather. Hey. Oh, sorry, bud. Just trying to get these straw pillows. And can't grab the lantern? Alright. Alright, is it time to go explore down below? I think it is. Alright, dead monkey. Nothing up above us. Nothing in 
in there. Alright. So this is, again, my personal playstyle. You definitely don't have to clear everything, but I love being able to build, being able to uh, develop things. Oh, that was a little piece of raider. Oh my gosh. I love being able to develop the... Uh, yeah, we're not going to take these because they're too heavy. Well, rather, there are so many of them. I mean, look at this. They're all over the place. That the, Even though it's going to be a nice uh, bunch of steel, we can always come back and collect it if we ever start running low on steel. Um, whereas now, it's just going to introduce more wait for us to deal with as we're trying to clear out everything else. So that's all nice and consolidated. We know it's everywhere. But it's so heavy that it's best for us to just leave it unless we need steel. Ooh, bottle cap mine. Don't mind if I do. I'm glad we didn't find one of those, though, that they were using against us. That would have been unpleasant. Go ahead and save just in case they do have something rigged up. As a special welcome back present. Alright, doesn't look doesn't look like they do. Oh, I skipped a pillow. Alright. Uh, yeah, see they're these are all just parts. And don't get me wrong, it's nice to have those particular kinds of parts around. Oh, power armor station. What do you have in here? Nothing. But if we needed to repair some, we could. Okay, so is this the extent of this level's potential? Oh. Fine, I'll go back. Are we stuck? No way. shite. We are. Maybe walking backwards will help. Nope. Ah, it's a good thing we quick loaded relatively recently after we saw that bottle cap mine. Alright. So I'm not sure there was much else here, if anything. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Nothing in the refrigerator. But I do know that we missed this pillow. <coughs> Out of my way, dog meat. Alright, and there's nothing over here if I remember correctly. Nope. So let's just go back up and go to the next segment of yeah, again, fire extinguishers, it'll give us steel, but it's already uh, right next to a, an area we know we can collect a lot of steel from. So we will leave it there. Uh, Alright, did we... There's nothing else over this direction? No, doesn't look like it at all. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and or down below on this side. I don't think that that elevator goes up. I'm pretty sure that's a down elevator. Oh wait, that's a Commonwealth entrance. Alright. Already cleared those. Alright, time to explore down. Already cleared that raider. And that raider. Looks like nothing more to grab there. Oh, maybe. Nice little wrench. Okay. Again, not touching the machine parts. Not right now, at least. <clears throat> if we start running low on steel, I will come back and collect all those machine parts. Alright, gate. And some boxes. Ooh, hello. Turpentine and a wrench. <laughs> oh, I would have grabbed the steering wheel just for the novelty of it. Mm, looks like 
there's nothing here. Nothing more, rather. Alright, Raider. I think we already clear, cleared this specific area out. Alright, we're not going to go in there yet. Because there's a lot of, of uh, other things in there. That looks like the next section for us to approach. Let's see, more machine parts. Ooh, what's behind gate number one? Could we maybe, maybe have a... Ah, oh, dang, I was hoping for a... I was hoping for a... Fusion core. Because ours is it. About 70%. Oh, well. This little back entrance to right there. That's not horrible. Though I see nothing hidden for us to be concerned about. Look at all these, yeah, just coolant caps all over the floor, everywhere. Why would they have a gate? I mean, whatever, whatever. cabinet. And I think we already cleared out this area. But there is always room to double check. Yeah, so look at that. Coffee cup, ashtray. Yeah, there's plenty of stuff. I'm glad we came back in here. Oh. <laughs> there's that missing safe. Let's see. Explosive box. Oh, so, okay, so sorry. Um, I did not answer the question. I did not name the dog Dog Meat. Dog Meat has been the name of Got the it. dog the entire series. Exactly how dog meat was named. Is that what the dog from Fury Road was, or Mad Max was called? Because that would explain it. They have all <laughs> Fallout has notoriously always had the little Easter egg references. All right. So I grabbed that um, extinguisher because it was in a place that wasn't likely to have. Anything else for us to grab? Gristle's Terminal, huh? Did we already get on here? Oh, no, we didn't. Alright, Mr. Caravan. Took down another caravan today? Hell yeah! That makes three in one month. To top it off, Freddy came by with good news that another caravan is headed our way. Says he spotted some guards, but it's mostly civilians. They even got an old bro they even got an old broad dressed like a fortune teller and some joker in a cowboy hat. Gonna ask Jared for more men to take this caravan down. Ha, that fucking hat is mine. I don't think that's gonna happen, Gristle. database network. Alright, well, fine. I won't do it. <coughs> Alright. Alright, I think this is adequately cleared up right there. See, so we came down there. Or did we come down this side? No, I, I don't think we came down this side. Let's just make sure everything is collected. I'm going to jump across there. Oh, yeah. See, there's that doorway. Oh, they make it look like something's going to be over here. And then nothing's there. 
Oh well. Hey, dog meat. <laughs> I wish I would have come up with that, but no. No, no, no. Not my doing. Actually, I don't think you can rename your uh, companions here. Oh, that must be one of mine. If not, we'll pop it. Oh, it's not one of mine. You can't see me anymore. Go away. I guess it was going away. These for manufacturing turrets? Can't be that. Not much in here. What was that thing trying to protect after all? I don't know, but it is toast butt. There we go. All of this on the ground makes me think it wants to go up in flames. Here I'm talking. Yeah, we're leaving those coolant caps. Looking behind here? Nah. Hmm. Ooh. Hello, radiation. Seems like this keeps going on forever and ever. This plant. We may not be able to get everything. We may not be able to get everything in this run. Alright. Get some chems. Dang it. Broke my bobby pin. Not paying attention, I'm a little groggy still. A little sleepy. Yes. Alright, anything else in the cooler? No, in the cabinet? No. Alright. Let's go walk down here. That big puddle is uh, explosive. So we need to be careful. There's a booby trap or anything, or if they start shooting at us. Dang it, come on. There we go. Nice. Alright, quick save before we try to walk through. Again, keep an eye out for booby traps. Extends all the way down across into there. Hmm. They be, yep, there they are. I know there's got to be someone else in there. Oh man, we are running out of 10 millimeter. I'm gonna have to switch to another weapon sooner or later. Something like this. Oh, hello. Nope, 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 nope. No, dog meat. Come back. Leave him alone. You're gonna get yourself killed.
There it goes. I think these are the people that we were hearing the other day, and I couldn't find out where they were coming from. Oof. Lots of stuff. Don't doesn't look like much of it is is uh, stuff that we can grab. But there's lots anyway. Look at this teasing us, making us think that there's a hidden treasure trove somewhere. Oh my gosh. Nope. Wait for that number to get up higher. Oh, see, and as this stupid ghoul gets up likelihood of us hitting the head will jump up. Really? Uh-oh. I don't want to be here. Yeah, that wasn't pleasant. Phew! <laughs> That didn't hurt, did it, dog meat? Alright. Oh crap. Chain reaction of all of the engine components, I guess. Is there a shred of this other ghoul? Oh, there he is. Did they come from out there? Whew. That's not what I wanted to see. So now I've got to be worried about ghouls everywhere. I don't know where we're going to find any here. Raider pieces. That's all it says. Caution for what? Ooh, a kitchen scale. Alright. Drinking glasses and beakers. Makes you wonder how the ghouls were made. Actually, it doesn't. And <laughs> there was a nuclear apocalypse. That kind of explains it all. I am still very surprised that stupid that the um, the, the settlers that that uh, encampment ten pines bluff I guess I'm still surprised that this is what they wanted us to uh, clear out because this just seems like an incredibly hard task for the brand new wanderer See, I guess we're not a lone wanderer in this one, are we? The Minuteman? The Vault Dweller? Maybe the Vault Dweller. I don't know. I, don't, I think I remember how they refer to our character in this one. But yeah, since we're so focused on the, the settlements and rebuilding, it's uh, lone wanderer doesn't really apply in this game, this particular one. So a little bit more exploration. Let's see what we can find. Anything behind here? Nope. Alright, let's go ahead and save though. I don't want to find myself getting stuck. Alright. I thought that was going to be coming up soon. Hey dog mate, we need to trade. Come on. 
Oh, I forgot we were crouching. I was like, why are you whispering? Okay. Wait. Not gonna be using the submachine gun quite yet. Now, if I make it a single shot sniper rifle, that would be something altogether different and wonderful. Sword again by weight since we switched over to the apparel section. Yeah, our leather chest piece is quite a bit better. 7 and 15 versus 3 and 10. Mining helmet. And the raider armor here. It's better than nothing, but it's definitely not better than what we're wearing. Keep dropping stuff. Alright, we still have... Let's see. Switch over to junk. Sort this by weight and we've got some heavy junk. Let's see. We get rubber steel and asbestos from extinguishers. So it's not just steel. They're, they're worth it then, I think. Fertilizer and acid. Alright, what can we dump? So we'll dump the enamel buckets. And metal buckets. So we'll dump the buckets. Uh, but we should put them in a box somewhere, I think. That would be best. Oh, okay, I see. We just come out, came out of this direction. There's the door we came in. So we'll just search over to the right now. And, oh, what is this? It's a door we'll open. Oh, thanks, dog meat. Thanks for waiting. I'm not seeing anything here. Worth uh, looting, that is. Well, anything to loot, regardless of whether it's worth it or not. We just about got this little area cleared out, I think. Alright, yeah, that's it. Nope, nope. What is this? Oil can? Definitely want that. Oh, we got up here by jumping backwards, I guess. I guess we don't jump as high when we're crouched as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and explore in here. Again, we're checking for booby traps the whole time. I don't think we've really come across any, but it's still good to look for. Yeah, I'll dump those buckets. I'll dump those buckets once we uh, start getting a little overloaded again. Looked like I had some stuff to load. Alright. Fire extinguisher. Empty lockers. Before we go up and explore anywhere, I want to s explore this particular level. Got some beer. Oh, okay, so this is just the... If you remember seeing this plastic pumpkin. This is the area, that, one of the areas that I wanted to go back and explore. Just from the other direction. That's good. more machine parts that we don't want. We'll take the plastic pumpkin, though. Mm. Oh, 
Okay, we check that one. Check the lockers. Oh, nuclear cola bottle. Just empty ones, but that's all right. Oh, an upside down coffee pot. No traps. All right. Don't need the elevator for now. Have we gotten everything on this level? I think we have. So let's go ahead and, go ahead and we'll we'll take the, the upper route on this side. Again, we're saving. No, I guess we found that booby trap in the front, didn't we? I was, about to, I was trying to say that we didn't, we haven't found any booby traps at all yet, but there was that makeshift bomb with a tripwire in the lobby. So they're definitely around here. Oh, I can get a drink. Oh, it's irradiated. Stupid water. Okay, so there's the lobby. So corpse. A lot of times corpses are hiding little goodies, but I'm not seeing anything with this one. Let's see a dead raider. Oh, he had a lot. <laughs> oh, he had a lot. He's got a camera. What was he taking pictures of? Wait, I mean, I want to know. I want that light bulb. Ugh, now I really don't want to know what he was taking pictures of. Right, chair. Knocked over sofa. Take a folder. And some whiskey. Don't mind if I do. A little toy car. Alright. Uh, I'm not seeing anything in this shelf. Ooh, what was that? Oh, it wants me to close the door. Nah, we'll leave it open. Alright. Wait, this isn't the main lobby. Why did I think it was? This is like a... This is, a uh, somebody's office? I don't know. There's no computer. Hmm. Really not a lot of anything but junk in here. Oh, dang, here I was hoping that this was our main main lobby. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, this is a lot better. Alright. That way I can off... Oh, are you stuck in there? Come on, dog meat. This way I can offload things if I need or want uh, in the main lobby, which makes it so when we um, quick travel back to this area, if we need to collect uh, things to give us steel, then all, they'll be in a box in the main lobby. So we can come in, collect it nice and easily. What a mess. Test tube rack in a filing cabinet. Alright. I mean, I guess you can, but why? I don't know. Alright. I don't think. Oh, that's just the door handle. I saw something metallic on the ground. Yeah, see, this is where the. This is where that booby trap was. Boink. A little bomb right there. 
take everything we can find. Everything that's not nailed down, I think the saying goes. Corvega. Gumdrops. Bubblegum. I'll even take the pencil, thank you. Where do you get things from? Get things from these. Like the spring out of the... Out of the clipboard. I mean, springs are incredibly... Oh, I put that shotgun there. Springs are incredibly useful. And they're not easy to fashion. These are the bathrooms. Alright. Whoa. I took the desk fan and it teleported. <laughs> Dog meat. <laughs> A little creepy. Why is there always these cameras in the most in... in appropriate places. Alright, anybody hide drugs or anything behind the toilet? No, looks like we're cleared out there. Hmm. Again, people like to stuff drugs in the toilets. For some reason. Move dog me. Go, go, go. Out of the way. Continue our little quest of exploration. Did we already... Yeah, we pulled everything out of here. Come on. Always in the way, man. Nothing in the... In the machine. Could also just mean that we... Is that a... I don't know what that is. That's fine. Could also just mean that... We already cleared the machine out. I don't remember. Oh, poor Cobra Vega. Alright, yeah, so let's go ahead and find a container. I think that's why we use this file container. Let's see, where's our junk? Sort by weight. And we are dumping see these buckets because it's just steel it's heavy and it's just steel uh, even the gas canisters you know we've got the remnant gasoline in it we can use that for well the game thinks it's oil but whatever all right yeah I think that's good for now we've still got some weight We haven't explored everything yet, have we? I didn't think we had. Yeah, we've still got to go... We've still got to go... up the other side. We have these stairs, but then we had stairs on the other side of the room as well. Yep, over there. I think we've been up here before. But we obviously haven't cleared it out. Ooh, a little kitchen. Nothing in the fridge. Dang. Just some aluminum cans. Well, there's stuff here. Junk cigarette cartons. Alright. Yeah, there's some... There's enough stuff in here to make it worth coming back this time around, I think. I can't smash open the TV and take things like the uh, vacuum tubes. <laughs> smash his body open. Guess we'll take bone. It actually lets us... There are some uses for bone. In construction. Lots of cans everywhere. Maybe that's because people had collected all the canned meat. Alright, so that's the elevator. If you remember, this is where the raider boss was. Alright. We 
mostly cleaned things up here. But I didn't do any kind of a thorough job of it. Yeah, see there's the door to the outside. A door to the outside, I should say. And we gotta get moving because this is our last fusion core and we're sitting about 45, 40, 40, yeah, that's about 40%. Yes, I know, it's irradiated. I was hoping there was going to be something worthwhile in there. Oh, good. Machine gun turret we hadn't looted. It's probably sitting right there. Oh, he has some toys. I think this is where we got that gold watch from. I don't remember for sure, but... So he, he just sat there and died, I guess. When the nukes hit, just terrified. He obviously doesn't look disturbed. You know, his, his body doesn't seem disturbed at all. There is not much in terms of any kind of gear here. Yeah. I mean, any world that nukes themselves to near oblivion. Uh, Glitch commented that this world is full of stupid people. <laughs> like, yes. Yes, it is. The entire Fallout, or the entire uh, Fallout Shelter program is just a horrendous, horrendous experiment on people. You learn that as you uh, play through the, the different games. They're just terrifying experiments. Oh, this looks like a button I don't want to push. I can't push anyway, so... Push that button. Extended the bridge. Uh, I think we cleared everything out of here. I don't think we left anything in this particular room. Oh, we left a pillow. <laughs> That's fine. I'll keep the pillow. I want it. Okay, a couple little small things. Uh, we cleared out the cigarette machine. Too bad we can't take the stool. Ooh. Okay, I'm glad we came up here. I thought, I definitely thought we'd cleared it out, but... There is some nice stuff. A gold-plated lighter. <coughs> There's Jared. Better be Jared. We already read through Jared's terminal. Alright, let's drop pillow. Yeah, we've... I think we've pretty much cleared everything out now. As I grab a solar fork. Ha! <laughs> okay. That's it. We can head back toward... Oh, yeah. Already got those machine gun turrets. We can head back out towards the... Uh, the lobby now. Yeah, we already explored over there. Okay. Don't want this entrance. I want to go back towards the lobby. Oh, yeah, so with dog meat, glitch, glitch uh, missed the response from earlier. Um, I'm not sure whether they took it from Mad Max. I think that's where it's from, but Fallout has always had um, just chock, been chock full of, of Easter eggs, and I'm pretty sure f uh, dog meat, which they've had the dog named dog meat the entire time. 
I'm pretty sure that's uh, an Easter egg from uh, Mad Max. Where's the lobby? No, the lobby's not over there. The lobby's over here somewhere. Oh, yeah, we have to go upstairs. Through, through, uh oh, oh, here we go. Alright, so let's collect as much as we can. Oh, we've only got room for two pounds more. <laughs> I think we did a good job then. Just leave those buckets there. Save and. Oh, wait, no, let's go out. If you remember that chained door, I want to unchain that door from the inside. It's gonna be over this. Oh, yep. Yeah. It's gonna be over this direction. Uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be down. Well, not down. I think it's gonna be over here. Hmm. Maybe not. Oh. Okay. Maybe over here. No. No. I think the chained door. Did we fully explore this? I think we did. Oh my gosh. Obviously not. Son of a beast, we're gonna have to come back here. Did we already explore this crap? Yes. I'm a little disoriented as to where this stupid chain door should be. Got distracted seeing that that new location. Well, trash. I can bring it up on the local map, I think. It is officially the dog's name. Uh, in fact, we are unable to change it from that. Oh wow! Yeah, we need to go clear over there. Well, it's assuming... Because the front entrance is over here. Yeah, so the chained door... Whatever. I don't know where the dang chained door is. Maybe it's going down through that... tunnel. So I think the chained door should be over here. Right there. Let's see. Because, yeah, it's on the east. So it should be over here. But that is not the case. What if we go upstairs? Let's see, no. No chain door. And if we go upstairs, how far upstairs do we have to go? Oh, that was a heavy jump. No, because this is where we just came from. Uh. gives the impression we haven't explored over here. But I know we've been to all these places. Yeah, because I couldn't figure out why that that gate was there. It's not going to be hard to get out. I just really want to know where that stupid door goes. Where the chain door is. See, this is that second floor door. Over the, the main entrance. But the 
chained door was on the ground level. Oh well, we'll just go out. And I guess the, uh, the we'll have to do another episode. <laughs> I had to go clear out that bottom area. Arr! I didn't want to have a f uh, episode three part E, but looks like that's what we're gonna have. Ooh, looks like Frog Pants just went live. Yeah, see, look, there's chain doors down there. Wait, where did it go? I know it's down here. We couldn't get in. Yeah, it's over here. That's fine. Alright, let's go back to Sanctuary. And of course, check the... We're not going to go over to Cambridge Police Station that yet. That's that's in order to support the... Oh... Who are they? The Sinkin' Brotherhood is stealing it. I'm not ready for that yet. Oh, order up. That was the diner that we protected. Okay. Get the world map, world map back up. And let's head over to Sanctuary. Dump what we've got. We still need to go back to Ten Pines Bluff and finish the quest. Uh, but I don't want to finish the quest quite yet. I want to explore that, that bottom area in case there's something relevant to the quest there. You know, sometimes there's there's hidden objectives that really make a big difference. Alright, so let's get out of the power armor. We're gonna have to stay out of it for a while because we've got that fusion core you can see has only got 25% left. So we'll grab the fusion core out, make sure nobody steals it from us. Hey. First off, dump what we think they might want to use. Already got enough of those. Mm, I'll keep those for my use. Let's see. Yeah, a lot of this stuff... A lot of these things are things that I already have access... You know, that they already have access to to be good, but that it's not necessarily good for them. Yeah, see, they've already got a lot of these, and I'm keeping the submachine gun. <laughs> Alright, now armor. What about that? Let's see what they've already got. Mm. Yeah, see, they've got a lot of these leather, a lot of this leather armor. Leather chest piece. There's plenty of those. There's not even eight of them. Leather arm. Well, I guess they're short on the... They don't have as many of the leather right arms. So we'll give them one of those. Let's see, a mining helmet. They definitely need some more helmets. They don't need the Raider gear. Well, I guess maybe the Raider leathers are clothes that will help support them. No, they've already got some their own clothes. They're not going to wear this stuff. Yes, plus, the, plus they've got the road leathers. Those look a lot nicer. Okay. 
go ahead come dump things out. Alright, so these are, again, things that I don't want, and I don't want them to have. So I can just sell them. I've already got... Oh yeah, I forgot, we're not using the machete anymore, we're using that bladed tire iron for our melee weapon. Sharpshooter's pipe auto pistol. No, I don't think so. Uh, revolver rifles. I have better uses for those 45 bullets. Yeah, submachine gun is going to be fun to play with, that's for sure. Alright, don't need the assault gas mask, only one of these. Yeah, we've got plenty of stuff to sell once we get there. And we may take him down to the diner, because uh, she's got stuff that we can buy. And if we can find, oh, what was her name? Trash Can Carla? She's got good things to, to sell as well. Alright. Now let's see, dump all of our junk. Should have done that first, I think. Yeah, look at all that extra space. Now, the aid. Got a lot of stuff to dump. Alright, dandy apple boys. Yeah, these snacks. I like to keep the, the, the drugs on me and not much else. And even the drugs, once I've got enough of them, we have to, you know, I'll store some of them here. Cherry Nuka Cola. A couple Quantums. Alright. See what kind of weight we have in our miscellaneous. Oh, nothing weighs anything good. Alright, let's go ahead and quick save. Then we'll see what we can do as far as crafting now that we have that uh, gun nut level 1. Alright, so first off, I want to see what we can do with this submachine gun. Ooh. So hardened receiver does a little bit more damage, but only 13. See, and I don't want to be using automatic. I want single shot. And this is... I don't think we have a single shot option. Look at that. No single shot options. Just different variations of speed, power, and such. Alright, so yeah, I guess I'm not going to be using the submachine gun. I do want to be able to use those 45 rounds. So let's see what we can do as far as let's grab one of these. Oh, I didn't want to take that. What did I grab? <laughs> the pistols! Alright, so what do we have in terms of 45? So it's the revolver pipe weapon. So we've got the short pipe revolver rifles. Just four of them? What do we have in here? Pipe revolver pistol. Uh, short pipe revolver rifle. That's what we had over here, too, isn't it? The short pipe revolver rifle. Yeah, short pipe revolver rifle. 
Alright, so let's, I guess, let's go see what we're going to do with it. Alright, so the receiver. We can toss in a hardened receiver to get up to 30 damage. Yeah, see, look at all of these components. Adhesive, gear, oil, screw... that all just to be able to have you know what no that's fine no we still don't have a whole lot of 45 ammo I'm gonna leave that see what we can do about the 38 Because that's what we really have plenty of ammo for. Or I could just say, screw it. Still a 38 ammo. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to bother with that. There we go. Alright. Let's actually take this sh double barrel shotgun. See what we can do with this one? Much better. Toss on a powerful receiver. And give it a longer barrel. To uh, pull that spread together. Don't want it to be a pistol, I think. But we don't have gun nut two, so it will be a short stock. Um, sights. I guess we don't really need focus and accuracy. This is still planning on being. Oh, we can't do anything with the muzzle yet. All right, but still, this is, I think, a much better option. As we start running out of that 10 millimeter ammo, this is still going to be used for short range, which is why I'm okay with it being a shotgun. Let's get some extra damage on this puppy as well. Powerful receiver. <laughs> Has a lot more damage. 51 versus, what was it, 34? <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. Let's see what do we have. Uh, what does a long ported barrel do for us? Superior recoil range and sighted accuracy. Poor hip fire accuracy. Well, I don't want the hip fire accuracy anyway. So superior range and sighted accuracy. Fifteen. it gives us yeah it gives us better accuracy oh it also says better recoil that's an expensive modification though see I don't want to use up all that copper we have a lot of very important electronics uses for the copper and this is essentially just a recoil benefit that We'll get better from this long vind rifle in the long run anyway, once we get gun nut too. Alright, what can we do in terms of stock? Okay. I like this. Yeah. I definitely like this. Mm, I don't like the copper, though. So what do we get? 98 accuracy here. I 
99 accuracy, and again, it's a recoil thing. Alright, exceptional sighted accuracy, superior recoil and aim. Exceptional sighted accuracy and recoil, better aim with scopes. Yeah, again, I'm not. I'm just not gonna do it until I can do recoil composite. Because again, we're also not gonna be sticking with this pipe rifle. Oh, we can do a long scope now, though. That I will do. Especially as there's no copper being used. Alright, and until we can get a uh, suppressor, I really don't care about the muzzle. Yeah, alright, so this is our gun for now. Our 10 millimeter. Want more damage? No automatic, just a powerful receiver. So 27 versus 18. Yeah, that's good. Got a long barrel. Now let's go ahead and hit fire and recoil. Yeah, I'm gonna wait on that then. Hmm. It's already got a comfort grip. It's recoil. I don't think I have a problem with recoil right now. Yeah, I don't want to use the nu the nuclear material. See, this is a reduced reduction of range, but I don't really need the range, I think. Alright. Go ahead and leave that as is. And I don't think there's really anything we can do with the musket. Let's just go ahead and get rid of our submachine gun. Alright. Get a hard save here. Alright, and again, we can't really use the armor anymore. Unfortunately, so we're gonna have to run over to the diner. I really want to see Trash Can Carla, but the only way we'll see Trash Can Carla is kind of on the road until we invite her to come here, and we haven't had that opportunity yet. I thought we'd be able to, but nope. All right, so since the only way we can really see her is on the road. along here. So the whole reason why we're doing this is to try to find Trash Can Carla is so that we can try to buy some more, um, we can buy some more fusion cores. I'm really not seeing her. Well, let's just quick travel. Easy enough. We found her down by the Drumlin Diner last time. And I suspect that she's she's just not coming up to our settlement yet. Not sure whether it's a matter if we need more people there, or we need to conduct a quest there, or secure the route. You know, I, I really don't know what her... her uh, requirements are. What the hell was that? Light him up! Hmm. Kill all you get. Try it. Just try it. There you go. This time. 
Ooh, not Patrick. Alright, well, just the two of them. Hey! No. I didn't want to talk to you, dog meat. Alright. Plenty of corpses. They're probably just going to get built up. See what you've got for sale, lady. Hey, Trudy. Hey there. I can rest easy knowing that Wolfgang is rotten in hell. Thank you. You're do you welcome. Do you need anything? I do, actually. I'll think about it. Oh, that's not what maybe is supposed Shop's to mean. Open. What do you want? Sure. Let's take a look. All salvage, but nothing's junk. Hmm. So I'm not really looking at weapons right now. I don't have the money for that. The helmets are... Well, I don't really need armor either. What I want... Yeah, I was looking for a fusion core. I'll take 10mm rounds. And 308 rounds. Six oh eight, huh? What can we give you? I'll give you everything they were carrying for starters. some 38 rounds on you. Call it 566? Ah, uh, 5. There we go. Let's do it. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and Quick travel back up to Corvega assembly plant. And we are going to take out... We're going to go explore that bottom section now. And loading, loading, loading. Although, we're getting close to level 9. And I like that. Anybody awake? I'm not seeing anybody. Sounds good to me. Alright, go ahead and save. Let's go in the lobby. I was just here, but I do have caching shut off um, where was that an option I think that was yeah, that was a video card option not in the game but in my video card settings that I intentionally left off um, my CPU is, is much more powerful than my video card and so anything that requires a video card resources I try to limit as much as possible. Alright, so which way were we going on this one? Was it this way? I don't quite remember where the the I mean obviously this is not going to lead towards a basement. I was thinking more along the yeah it's not this way. I was thinking more along the lines of a doorway. Oh is that no that's not it that's Hmm. Sinking more along the lines of a doorway from up here that went down down some stairs, but that's not it. All right, should we try again? Which way was it? 
Oh, I'll bet you it was over here. Oh, maybe not. Dang it. Ha! Whatever. Hmm. I've got it. Let's just go ahead and crouch and hard save. And let's take care of all this. Looks like the turret was just shooting some ghouls. Alright, go ahead and disarm those. Lots of trash along here. You know what? Let, let's actually... Oh. Don't look at me. Alright, I don't think it's looking this way at all. Let's go ahead and exit this. And make it... Episode 3, Part E. Uh, we've got quite a bit of time already under our belt for this episode. So it'd be nice to... Uh, break it down and explore this new area on its own. All right, so again, thank you for joining. This has been Cellist Mike with the Pixel Sharks Gaming Marathon team, and don't forget to help us support those Children's Miracle Network hospitals by going to tiny.cc slash pixelsharks. That will take, us, take you to our uh, marathon page, and you can donate there. Thanks again.